Item number SCP-6963 Object Class Archon Site Responsible Site 90 Director Toto Moose Research Head Dr. Jack Bright Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Security Level 3 Special Containment Procedures Due to post failed circumstances and the relative harmlessness of SCP-6963, no protocols have been enacted to confine those affected by the anomaly. Subjects of SCP-6963 treat their targeted individual as fictional and as such should be publicly considered so in order to bring little suspicion to the person in question. Research into the cause behind SCP-6963's creation to possibly methodize a way to reverse its effects is currently ongoing. Note, Dr. Bright's request to be reassigned to a separate anomaly has been denied for the time being. Description, SCP-6963 denotes an abnormal phenomenon surrounding Dr. Jack Bright, the criteria in which when is affected remains unclear. To date, an estimate of approximately 250,000 individuals worldwide have been subjected to the anomaly's effects, and amnestization has proven to be ineffective. However, those influenced by SCP-6963 are wholly convinced that Dr. Bright is merely a fictional character, despite a lack of evidence regarding the persona's creator. Subjects affected by SCP-6963 display intense feelings of affection towards Dr. Bright, oftentimes showing their appreciation for him via methods most appropriate to them. Examples of SCP-6963 related activities include, but are not limited to, drawing pieces of art depicting Dr. Bright in some fashion, producing music pertaining to Dr. Bright in some way, writing fiction featuring Dr. Bright as the main protagonist, creating merchandise of Dr. Bright, the perpetrator responsible for SCP-6963's existence, if applicable, is unknown. Addendum 1. Instance Log The following are examples of media pertaining to Dr. Bright as a result of SCP-6963 used for the sake of briefing associated personnel. More excerpts are available upon request. Excerpt from Wattpad Dr. Bright Pendued against the wall with a smirk on his face, the red amulet around his neck shimmering under the blazing fluorescent light. You blushed heavily, confused of what he was doing. Right, Summer, you blurted. What, you know, like? The researcher's head under his breath. We can't do this. It is unprofessional. Bright paused before bursting into laughing, confusing you even more now. I don't care. Hell no, I would just get away with it like every other time. You have nothing to worry about. Your eyes widened. They didn't know Bright felt that way about them. They look away in embarrassment. Both doctors' heart beat heartily before the two. Excerpt from Tumblr Ask Dr. Bright anything. Hello, I am Dr. Bright. Not actually, this is Roleplay. Also, this pick is not me. And I work for a foundation. Ask me any questions, and I will answer you. If you are a troller, or if you do not like Dr. Bright, then please leave. Let people love what they love, haters. Don't like, don't read. What is it like working for the foundation? Is it fun? It is very fun indeed. There are so many crazy anomalies, loads of besties to talk to, and overall, it can get a lot interesting. I'm just happy being here. Can you teach me about SCPs? Also, I love your work. Also, I love your role play. Of course, as I am the smartest doctor in all Foundation, there's a lot of creepy monsters, killer items, and basically a lot of spookiness. Ooh. 
But my favorite SCP of them all, personally, is Siren Head. It is a very amazing skip. You should check it out. How's it being immortal? The other doctors are just jealous because I can live longer than them. Get back, haters! Anyway, I want to be Dr. Fred and Morty, if you know what I mean. Can I get a hug, right? Here you go. No offense, I know this is a roleplay, but this doesn't seem like Dr. Bright. He's a scientist. He works for the Foundation. I doubt he'd be making so many grammatical mistakes when answering useless questions. Again, I'm not saying you shouldn't continue doing this, but you might need to at least proofread your answers before posting. Sorry if this comes off as harsh. Just uh, giving some critique. You're just bad because Dr. Bright would never remotely even dare to stare at you because people like you are so rude and toxic. Come in here thinking that you know how fight acts and talks. You just hate it. You're just a hater. And nobody cares. You call it critique, but I know that's just an excuse. I know you're just saying that so you can attack me. Stop lying and admit it. Honestly, very disappointed right now. Like I said, if you don't like it, don't read it. You haters are so blind, you know. I can't believe people like you even exist. Like, above already, brah. Do us a favor and leave this goddamn website. Like, come on. TLDR. Nobody ask. <laughs> yeah, hater, shut up. What do you know about right, huh? Report it. Fake fan, fake fan. Note, the commenter above had deleted her account following this thread. Excerpt from YouTube, titled My Everlasting Love for Dr. Bright, created by Bright Lover 246 duration 31 minutes 27 seconds. Begin log. Footage begins in the background. There is a shrine to the right and a suspended red amulet hanging on the left. So the user sits down the camera before stepping back and silently grinning. They take out a handmade plushie, presumably of Dr. Bright, before furiously embracing it and burying her head into it. They raised her head, her eyes widened and unblinking. The person inhales deeply. Oh, Bright Summer, if it's for you, I'd do anything. I would kill hundreds, nay thousands of people if you desired it. You are the pinnacle of beauty. If not the definition, I am in your debt, Doctor. I love every single moment I spend with thee. They suddenly hyperventilate, gripping tighter onto the toy. Please don't ever leave me. I can't live without your presence. Be mine, nobody else. I can't let you be with anyone else. I will stab everyone who tries to get in our way, our relationship. They think I'm crazy, but you don't, right? You would never say such a thing. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> it's them add on saying, thinking that we don't deserve to be together. Th that they said you weren't real, but we'll show them, Bright Summer. We'll show all of them. I just know I'll be safe, because I'm next to you. Honey, dinner's ready. <sighs> Shut up, Mom! I'm recording something! End log. Addendum 2. Interview. Personnel interviewed. Dr. Jack Bright, Site 19. Director Tilda D. Moose, Site 19. Subject, SCP-6963. Begin log. 22.54. Moose enters the interview room, holding onto a clipboard. Bright is already seated tapping his foot and notices Moose as she pulls back the chair and sit down. Both are silent for a brief moment. You had something you wanted to discuss with me, Bright. Bright nods. Mm-hmm. It's... It's about 1693. You see, I was wondering if... Moose crosses his arms. If you're requesting to be transferred, then I'm going to refuse your offer. How come? 
It's practically harmless, Bright. I'm sure you've been through worse. Moose, when I first worked for the Foundation, I did not expect... Back, I developed a fan base overnight. I did not ask for this. I did not sign up for this. And I surely didn't spend over a century to suddenly have people craving my very presence. But you did agree to research anomalies. And that includes your followers. What part of this would you consider as research? We're merely observing a crowd of people violently thrashing at each other's necks over a door that's apparently supposed to look like me, when it couldn't be farther from how I actually look. How do you think celebrities feel? Look, my point is, why can't you accept my request? Right, you have your reasons, and I know what you're going through is certainly an uncomfortable experience for most, but... It's not as simple as we assigning you. You'd still be exposed to all the fictions revolving around you and their indiscernible imagination. It's basically fruitless. Break drugs and avert his gaze. And unless we can find a way to fix this mess, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you expect me to do. <sighs> I know, I know. But still, it's exhausting. I didn't want this. Cheer up, right? At least you're not aware you exist. I doubt that makes the situation any better. But thank you, I guess. My pleasure. Just don't stress yourself too much. If you ever want to take five, all you have to do is tell me. I don't mind giving you a break from all the work. Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Moose checks her watch before standing from the seat. Anyways, I'll be heading off now. I have other duties to attend to. Actually, there's something else I wanted to say before I leave, right? Hmm? Do me a favor and keep yourself together, alright? Moose exits the room. Right. And Nog. 2259. Update! A recent spike in SCP-6963 activity has been reported. Cost believed to be an announcement, cost believed to be an announcement made on an online web forum known as Brightnet. Action to mitigate the spread of SCP-6963 is currently underway, though no progress has been observed thus far. The aforementioned post has been transcribed below for reference. Announcement by Mr. Silver, Maud. Good day, afternoon, evening to everyone in the Bright community. We hope that every single one of you are doing your best. As you can tell by the post title, this is an announcement from the Maud team. And oh boy, this is a big one indeed. Of course, this is about our beloved character, Dr. Bright. To put it simply, we'll be opening up a new section, open to anybody to contribute. Obviously, we'll be looking over any additions made to this little experiment for any hate directed towards our precious child. Damn haters! And you may be asking, what is this? What are you doing? Well, we all know that our researcher here is professional, like your typical top-notch scientist. People like him tend to be confused as a robot, forgetting that there are people too, and people like Bright make mistakes. This new page will be dedicated to all the mishaps he's made throughout his mischievous life working at the Foundation. This is to show that Bright isn't just some cold, soulless monster, but an actual person with actual feelings. And to make it even more intriguing, it will be in the form of a list, a list of rules telling him what not to do. Feel free to add on to the record of things Bright is not allowed to do at the Foundation. This post has been made by a member of a staff team. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask us.